Hi guys, we're at Three Seats. My name's Max, so uh, I own this bar with my brother Noel, um, and he's over there. Uh, we're in Dalston, East London, and we're going to show you a couple of drinks today. So the first thing we're going to show you is our twist on a classic. So it's a twist on an old fashioned. It's a little bit different. It has a, uh, it's got a definite kind of Japanese twist. So we use miso and uh, shiso leaf. Um, we infuse Japanese whiskey, so we've got nickel all malt, so we infuse that with shiso leaf and miso paste. The way we do that is we melt butter and then we fry the shiso leaf and the miso paste in the butter, brown it a little bit, and then um, and then we pour that into the whiskey, freeze it overnight, so in that process you kind of get the flavour through, the, uh, a little bit of the fat through. The fat solidifies, you strain it off, and then you kind of have the savoury salty note from the miso, the brightness from the shiso, and um, a little bit of the sort of texture from the butter. So we start off with uh, a few dashes of Angostura bitters, um, and then we've got 10 ml of sugar syrup, so it's 2 to 1 sugar syrup, and then we go 50 ml of the fat washed Japanese whiskey. Um, it's a little bit more sugar syrup than usually, you'd usually have in an old fashioned, but because of the savouriness of the um, of the savouriness of the miso paste, you sort of kind of need it to balance it out. So we give that a stir. And then we wanted to keep sort of traditional with the serve. So there's a Japanese lady who lives in Copenhagen, so it's called Magdalena Kazuna. She makes uh, plates, sort of ceramic pots. Um, so we've had her design uh, and make the pot. So on the inside, you've got this sort of mottled green effect. That's to kind of pull through the real green notes of the, uh, the shiso in there as well. So we'll give that a taste. ice cubes. Um, so you've got like a real body to the drink, you know, the Japanese whiskey is pretty pretty textural by itself, but then when you add that butter in there as well, and the savouriness of the miso, you kind of get a really, really full mouthfeel.